Would you like to go on a surprise date with a book? You could do that for an entire year. I've got 12 books over here. I'm going to read you some stuff about them and you can decide if you would like to check them out or not. Then I'll reveal what book it is. Let's go surprise book speed dating. Hey, I'm Kathy Allen. I'm an avid reader and I love sharing some of my favorite books. So when the school that I work for was looking for auction items, I thought, what about a year of reading? I picked some of my favorite books and I created these. It even says kind of what the book is about on the spine. When you look at them all together, you can see what your year may pan out to be. If you want to hear a little bit about each of the books and not be surprised at all, then you can head to this video. And if you want to hear about how I did this so you can do something similar, you can head to this video. All right, let's get into it. I'm simply going to read you what I wrote on here. Then I will show a picture of what the book is in case you want to read it. First one is Young Adult Historical Fantasy. This is history rewritten. Historical England drama around Lady Jane Grey. People shapeshift into, I'm not telling you, but it's good. And it's written by three authors. It's hilarious, witty, a true delight, and you will laugh out loud. Do you want to read this book? It's this book. Next up, we've got middle grade contemporary fiction. Family moves from California to Virginia. The main character lands in a middle school with a big Civil War celebration. He uncovers history about Chinese Americans and the Civil War that his teacher and some classmates aren't happy about. It has good restorative justice in this story, but also some violence from racist bullies. Do you think you're going to read it? Here's the book. Ta-da! This is middle grade historical fiction. It's World War II England. Actually two books in this one package because I had to give you the sequel too. It's got adventure, found family, it's hopeful, it has kids living tough lives, and characters that grow into their best selves. It's these books. Adult nonfiction, personal growth. This is an award-winning and best-selling author giving advice on love and life. Think back on your life and the experiences that have shaped you and perhaps take some advice. What do you think? Will you read it? It's this book. Look. Young adult contemporary fiction. This is a Prince Award winner and a Stonewall Honor book. Family torn apart and put back together. Hopeful and heartbreaking story of grief, love, art, and being true to yourself. And dual points of view. One twin narrates their story at 13, the other at 16. What happened in between? Read to find out. Will you read it? It's this book. Another young adult contemporary fiction. It's written by a poet, but not a novel in verse. The talented main character is a cook who creates dishes with a touch of magic and it's life after teen pregnancy since the main character is a senior in high school with a toddler. It's about going after your dreams, finding yourself, and culinary adventures. Will you read it? It's this book. Next up is an adult graphic novel and humor. It's a quick, funny read about the reality of adulting and will make you feel less alone for sure. Will you read it? It's this book. Middle grade historical memoir. Oops. <laughs> Middle grade historical memoir in verse. A National Book Award winner, Newbery Honor Book, Coretta Scott King Award winner. Memoir of a poet as a child, a story about the love of words and stories, and will inspire you to think about your place in the world and what has shaped you. Will you read it? It's this book. Young Adult Graphic Novel Memoir. It's a National Book Award finalist. The main character is raised by loving and interesting grandparents. Mom is an addict in and out of main character's life and rehab. Main character discovers his love and talent for art and we see how it's nurtured and how he shares it with his mom. It's hopeful and heartbreaking at times. Will you read it? It's this book. Young Adult Contemporary Fiction. It's teen kids living hard lives, excellent friendships, and characters you'll love forever. It's hopeful and heartbreaking and takes place in small town, Tennessee. Will you read it? It's this book. Adult nonfiction memoir, personal growth. This is written by someone who produced at least one TV show I bet you watched. Personal growth that leaves you hopeful and no toxic positivity in sight. Fun stories of trying new things and may inspire you to go outside your comfort zone. Will you read it? It's this book. Last one, adult graphic novel memoir. The author illustrator talks to people in her life about identity, America's realities, what divides and unites us, interracial families, and more. Not a lot of panels on each page, so it's a good graphic novel for people new to the format. And it's told in sort of photographic art. What do you think? Will you read it? It's this book. Let me know in the comments if you decided to read one or all of these books, and even if you've heard of them. I'm not convinced that anyone has actually heard of all of these books. At least I haven't seen people talking about them online that much. Thanks for playing along. Let me know if you want to do this again. Until next time, happy reading.